Such a beautiful day that I took a little walk around the neighborhood and oh, look at these gorgeous daffodils. So pretty. So beautiful outside. The birds chirping and all the beautiful trees. And look at this pink tree. Oh, so gorgeous. All the beautiful spring colors. Well, Easter is just four days away. We're making our last minute preparations and can always tell when spring is here. When you see all these beautiful yellow forsythia have bloomed. They make such beautiful borders. So the more over here, so pretty. Look at the daffodils. The spring flowers are so beautiful. Here the lilies are sprouting up. Yeah, it's too early for them to bloom, but they're sprouting up. Oh, and over here, the crocus are starting to come up. I love the smell of those. Easter's in four days, and look over there. Some honey bunny is waiting for the big bunny to come. Hi, Lucas. Hi everyone. I decided this week, the week before Easter, to just do a little mini vlog. It's just going to have a few little things incorporated in it. Um, you'll see some beautiful flowers, spring flowers. You'll also see a little treat we're making. You might see um, my second in command here dyeing his Easter eggs. Just a lot of fun things that people do. Um, when Easter's approaching. So today, I'm going to make something very quick for you. Um, this can be a last minute thing that um, you can make really uh, the day before Easter if you want. It looks really pretty out on a dessert table mixed in with your other desserts. Um, and Lucas is going to assist me, right Lucas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is, we're going to be making chocolate bunny pretzel treats, or I should say I should call them chocolate bunny pretzel bites, <laughs> right? And they're so easy to make. So, okay. So I'm going to pass over um, to Lucas and he's going to hold up and show you what you need. The first thing you're going to need is Annie's. These are organic. They're the bunny grams and you're going to need them in chocolate. I'm going to hold that box and show it to them. Can I show them one? Well, yeah, I'll hand it to you in a minute. That's kind of small. They might not see it. They, I'll hold up that. They look like this. They're actually very tiny little bunny uh, chocolate graham crackers. They also come in the vanilla. You can use that if you like, but I think the chocolate bunnies are really cute. Okay, so you need, yeah, you need a box of those. And then we've used these before. You can hold this up, Lucas. You're going to need a bag of the... They're called snap pretzels. They're square. It looks like a pancake. Well, look, yeah, it looks like a little waffle, right? Uh, yeah. And then my assistant is going to hand me over the cookie sheet over there with parchment paper on it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now come over here. Now these are so simple. I'm going to have Lucas put in rows these little pretzels. It doesn't matter. They're not going to grow, so you don't have to worry about spacing them too far apart. Them in nice rows, that's good. Very nice rows. Cameraman's gonna show Lucas doing all this because the diva got dye all over her hands when Lukey Dukes was uh, dyeing the Easter eggs. We had a couple of little accidents and we had, ooh, um, blue dye Look flying at. all over. So Lucas, you line them up. Go ahead. You want me to help you on this side? No. No? You want to do it? Okay. So it's simple as can be. You buy those little snap pretzels, and you just line them up on your cookie sheet. Now while he's doing that, I'm going to show you what else you need. 
You can buy the Wilton's um, candy <laughs> wafers. Now, you work on this because we have to get this done. You can buy the Wilton's candy wafers. These happen to be a different brand. There's but yellow, blue, this one, green, you work on this. Okay. This happens to be, I like to do spring colors. So this is pink. And there's blue and green and yellow. And this is the green. Um, Here's the yellow. We have some yellow. Her favorite, or no, blue is her favorite color. And then we have some blue. I forgot your favorite You don't color. want to use like the regular chocolate ones because they're going to have little chocolate bunnies on them and then they won't show up. So you're getting them all lined up. Okay, I have help. You want some help now? You keep going on your side and I'll go on my side so we'll get these all done. Stop eating, little bunny rabbit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> And like I said earlier, this is a perfect little um, treat to put out. It's a sweet and salty treat. Both the little bunnies and the big bunnies like this. And it looks very, very pretty on a dessert table. All right, so I showed you that we needed these candy melts. So I'm gonna have Lucas start on his side. I'll give him the blue ones. Yeah. And why don't you do um, a couple of rows of blue? You're gonna I take have, your candy melt. I have an idea, Grandma. What? We we'll do it in a pattern. Well, that will take too long, and no, we want to just we can do it later. And you want to put it right in the center, Lucas. You right. Lost your voice, I know. Look at right in the center. See how I'm doing? In the center. Some people will do these actually on a microwave um, dish and do them in the microwave, but. I think they come out better I'm used to cream. Um, the way I'm telling you to do them. Preheat your oven and yes. set it to 350 degrees. You'll put this tray right into the oven and they will be in there from anywhere to one, from one to two minutes. What you want is uh, you want your candy melt to soften, but you don't want it to melt as so much that it starts to spread off the pretzel. So you just want to um, to make them soft. So anywhere from one to two minutes, um, everybody's oven is different. You just keep your eyes um, on them. So we're gonna get this tray done. And then we're gonna put it in our oven and we're gonna check it. And we're gonna take it out as soon as we think our melts are right. And then we will be right back as soon as we take these babies out of the oven and show you what we do next. Okay, I just had these in the oven for exactly one minute. I tested the uh, candy melts and they were nice and soft. So you take them out of the oven, be careful because the cookie sheet's gonna be very hot. Take one of your little Annie's chocolate rabbits. What is that? Oh, I think we have more bunnies with us today. And you're gonna put it right in the center of the candy melt and just press it down gently. You wanna see the nice color around it, but you don't want to make it a messy. See how that goes down, Lucas? It looks like you just crushed it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right in the center, press them down. Oopsies. So, go ahead. So that you see the nice, pretty spring color behind it, but, um, you know, you don't want to make it look messy. You want it to look pretty. So these are a nice, sweet, and salty, salty. Easter treat. Yeah, the pretzels are salty, and the candy, oh, well, that yeah. one has no ears. We don't want to put that one this on This one there. has no ears either. Well, yeah, make sure your bunnies aren't broken. Um, Grandma, and you I get... put it on. It has no ears. Okay, so go ahead. So we don't want... we got to do it fast because we don't want our... eat that one. <laughs> no, it's hot. We don't want our... Oh, this one has no ears too. We don't want our candy melts to harden or we won't be able to put our bunnies in them. We'll just eat the ones that don't have ears. <laughs> okay, put it all in right. the spot. So I'll put these all out on a, my cute little bunny tray I have. have a head. And when we get them all made, How's your and they cool head? off, I'll be back in a second to show you how pretty they look. So keep going, Lucas. Stop eating and keep going. <laughs> okay, so we finished making these uh, bunny pretzel treats. I can tell you, if you decide to make them, you'll have enough to feed an army. I think you get about, I don't know, 200 of these little chocolate bunnies out of this box. You get a lot of pretzels, and if you buy a few, quite a few of these, you'll be able to literally make hundreds of these. They came out so darn cute. 
So I'm gonna insert a few stills for you and we're gonna do a little taste testing. Munchkin, would you like to taste? Which color? Oh, my goodness. What do they taste like? I'm gonna take a pink one. Mmm, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, go. Sweet and salty? No? You don't taste the salty pretzel? I taste the salty pretzel. I taste the sweet cookie and the sweet chocolate. Oh, now they're gonna take. Well then, I'll ask you again. Are they good? Yeah. Would you give them a thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, so I'm gonna say, hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoy making these treats. Oh, the bunny saying toodles to you too. Here's Lucas and he's preparing to dye these eggs. He's writing out a list of all the people that he wants to dye an egg for. Right, Lucas? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're, we have a bunny here dyeing some eggs. Hello, bunny. Hi. Hi, you getting ready for Easter? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any friends with you over there? How cute! Is that a what's that bunny's name? Fluffball. Fluffball, and he talks. Nice. All right, are you going to show everybody you're going to be dyeing some eggs today? I'm just going to put them over here. What are you using to dye those eggs today? What kind of kit are you using? That. Paz. Paz, and it's an Easter dyeing kit. Is it working well? Yeah. No accidents. No. Nope. None. Do not use this one. <laughs> What's the name of that one? Dunk an egg. Oh. Yeah, she, gr uh, Grandma spilled the blue one. Well, wait a minute. That came with these little plastic pop-up cups, right? Yeah. And what happened? One fell over and then blah, 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 and then yeah. Well, one fell over. Yeah. And it was blue? Yeah. Went oh, all it was over green. Oh, green. It went all over the place, right? So then we... She spilled another one. And then, well then we well, use... Grandma's. Yeah, then we use the other kit, right? That has nicer cups that came with it. And then we got them See, all... See, they're not falling. Yeah, we got them all ready, and then what happened? Then they s spilled. Grandma spilled <laughs> the baking diva. Whatever. <laughs> I um, spilled all over the place, right? Because this has been a couple of attempts, right? To start dyeing your eggs. All right, so now you're on a roll. He's got his crayon that came with the eggs. He's got a list there. How many eggs are you making today, Lucas? 13. Yeah, he counted some family members and he's making one for everybody. He's got 13 eggs. I showed Lucas how to use that wax crayon that comes with the kit. And he's putting uh, everybody's initial on their egg before he dyes it. Lucas, how's that um, green one coming along that you started? Nice dark green color. Oh, that's nice. I think that's almost ready to take out. He's using, using his different color spoons for his different color eggs. Yeah, this is the last day this week. Lukey Dukes is here. He had his spring break, so he's been by Grandma's for three days. Let the water drain out a little before you put it in that egg carton. One of the kits came with little stickers of faces so he can decorate them later <laughs> when they're dry. So who's you doing next, Lucas? My cousin Jake. What color are you going to make his? His is already in the blue. Oh, and who are you going to do next? Yeah, just leave that, otherwise it's going to get scratch marks on it. Oh. Yeah, no, just leave it alone. It'll be is okay. That? Yeah, just leave it. No. I'll come over and help I you. Use my hands. No, but boy, Grandma's hands are all blue, right? From cleaning up that mess. Oh, I got it! Good, I got it. good boy. All right, what? Who's doing next? Jake's is in there. And He's got all his colors there. Papu. 
He's checking off his list as he makes uh, everyone's Jakey, egg. Jakey, Jakey, Jakey. <laughs> He's a character. Uh, okay, hurry up. Get your next color going. Grandpa? Yeah. Love Jake. Jake the snake. Yeah. All right, get your next color going. Who are you doing next? Let's see. Who's your next? You know what color Grandma wants, right? Blue, blue, blue. What's my favorite color? Blue. What color blue? Turquoise. Right. Gotcha. All right. So go ahead. Can I put D for Dolores? You could put D for Diva. <laughs> All righty. So we're going to get Lucas. We're going to let him continue dyeing his eggs. Wait, and he blue? I think so. I'm not sure. And then we'll come back in a little while. Jeep, the snake is Yeah. Here. We'll come back in a little while and see how he's done. Lucas is almost done. He's been busy, busy, busy. Look at all those eggs. How you doing, Lucas? Good. I'm mixing two colors together. Oh, now you're just having fun with those last two eggs, right? Whoa! Uh oh, what is that? <laughs> I don't know. Remember that time? Oh, remember that time you were making a, a, a camouflage one? Oh, and it came out this disgusting color. <laughs> like, I think it was last year. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah. Well, all right, so we'll take a, a picture of all Lucas's eggs when they're done. Want to say goodbye to everybody, Lucas? Bye. Happy Easter. Have fun dyeing your eggs, right? So down below, if you like this little video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and best of all, have a very happy Easter.